poo poo you beautiful soul i've waited months and months and finally we have you here the other brilliant thing about the poo emoji dragon is the fact that his egg looks like someone just holding a massive turd and i just cannot express how much i love this dragon i think this is probably my second favorite dragon in the game um yeah probably after citrine it would be his brother poo emoji but I'm, he's wonderful. He's absolutely fantastic. And of course, the Pooh Emoji Dragon is in the current Dragon Master Pass. But the only way you'll be able to get him is if you do pay for the Premium Pass, which is very unfortunate because I am unwilling to make a purchase for the Dragon Master Pass. But it's very tempting. If I was still spending on DML, maybe I would have bought this, but I haven't spent in 11 months, and that will not change. But Mr. Pooh Pooh, I love you forever and always. But aside from Mr. Poo Poo, today we will be continuing with Ancient Event stuff, but on top of that, we do have a new dragon to get hatching as well, because this is the current dragon of the month, Otto, and I did actually manage to breed this dragon day one after, what was that, like five attempts? Was it less? I can't remember. But I just never got around to hatching him, so fine, he's here now, okay? He's been waiting like half a week, he's out now. But this is Mr. Otto. Half a week? It's like a week and a half, actually. What the heck? I haven't played DML in ages. <laughs> but this is Mr. Otto, the legendary wind and energy legendary. And although I do like the design of Mr. Otto, he's just not very useful because he is a legendary, unfortunately for him. And just like I always say, if you're a newer player asking about whether you should use legendaries in your team, the answer is no. They're not good, you shouldn't use them, you shouldn't be unlocking their third elements, you might as well use epics. But he is part of the Outsiders Doppelganger Dragons collection, and so when we get the next Dragon of the Month, then we will get this quarterly reward, and then we will be one step further into the yearly reward. It'll just be one more quarter after that, and then this collection will be done. So we have plenty of legendaries coming still. But this mechanical beast emerged one day from Otto's dungeon. Like the man himself, the dragon is stoic, thoughtful, and a little mysterious. This trainer will name it after his best friend and call it the Otto Dragon. So this is little baby Pip. And you know, compared to some of the other special effects that we've got going on, I actually quite like his fire effects. You know, because we have like some of the void dragons, their special effects are just very, uh, they, they, they look wrong. They don't look right. But the, the little fires that are steaming out of Mr. Otto here, you know, I like them. I like them, Mr. Otto. So that was the baby form of Otto. We will, of course, level him up a little bit just because why the heck not? We'll take him up to, I guess, 20 for now. And then we get to see him in his adult form and he puts on like a nice green jacket and he's got all of his flames coming out of his brain, which is wonderful. Maybe not for him, maybe he's on fire and burning all the time, but you know, he's an interesting concept for a dragon. Not my favourite dragon ever, not quite to the same level as Poo Emoji. Sorry, you, you can't really beat Poo Emoji, but um, you know, not too bad for a dragon of the month, for a legendary. You know, I think he actually does kind of suit, like, the divines. I'd say he kind of looks like a divine, like, compared to some of the others here. Or even an ancient. He kind of looks like an ancient as well. I think he's suitable on this island, you know? It's like, if I was looking over here on this island, I think he'd be suitable. You know what I mean? He wouldn't stand out. He looks like he fits, personally. But that is Otto. And, of course, we do have the ancient stuff going on at the moment but we'll have a reset in one minute's time. In the meantime, today we did have the enchantment stuff going on as an enchantment frenzy, and I did get lots of epic chests opened, and we were able to actually enchant Emroja once more, and I have, as you can probably tell, changed how the team is sort of balanced, because now Dave and Silver are actually different levels. And the reason that I've done this, even though I don't really want Emroja to be the highest level dragon, but that's going to change when we upgrade all of them to epic acceptances, for example. But the reason I did this is because now if we go into the dungeon and we say start a brawl, you'll see that my highest three dragons are now Emroja, 
uh, Silver and Dave, the Erlang ship. And that means that now Ben actually gets times two bonuses from his KOs, which is really good. Because now instead of having to rely on Saini to do all of that, we can actually rely on Ben to get lots of bonus times two hits as well. So now we've got, I would say, more options in that sense. Um, I did have to take off the acceptances from my other two divines, which I may end up putting one back on free just because he's got fire. But I think it's worth it in the short term. Definitely at least to try things out and test how the runs go in general. It's just, since we were going with the same team for such a long time and I hadn't really changed anything, and I did kind of just want to get to a point where we could actually use Enroja, because it's like we invested all this food and all these enchantment maps on Enroja, and then I never actually used the dragon yet. <laughs> it was kind of frustrating to be honest because it's like hmm I would really like to actually use this dragon that I wasted millions and millions and millions of food on that would be wonderful so we are now at that stage and Roger is now our big boss guy but like I said I don't actually want M. Roger to be my my main highest level dragon the reason being that typically you don't want your highest statted dragons with like double epic sigils to be the one that's balancing against the enemies in the dungeon because then they will balance to that so ideally we wouldn't have him roger here but again it's just some short-term changes and i do kind of want to see how this team in general goes um, I will say that this week it's sort of hard to judge because, I mean, it is burnout week. So I'm not expecting to see too much of a difference this week because the idea in burnout week is just kill, murder, uh, hope that you don't get immediately destroyed, that sort of thing. Um, and obviously kill all the burnout dragons. Aside from that, in burnout week, there's not really too much else to it. Just kill, 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 get lucky. So... I think the weeks when we can really test this out will be the ones after burnout week happens. It's just for now we've got to get through burnout week, see what happens, and uh, hopefully go from there. At least Mr. Mr. Um, Mr. What's his face, Mr. Uncle Sam there used fire and destroyed himself. That's wonderful. That is wonderful. You see. One thing about keeping light dragons in your team, and even I sometimes forget about this, is that sometimes the enemy dragons will just stun themselves. And it is really, really good when they do that. Because especially in burnout weeks, you basically just get free turns, which is fantastic. Um, I guess we should check who has burnout here too, since we do have wind on us already. But there we go, we'll attack the top one and then hopefully Origami doesn't have... Oh, it does have Burnout. Well, we should be okay for now. And since we are going to get an upgrade in the next run, because we will then have uh, an extra KO boost, then we should be okay. But all of these dragons at the moment have Power of Thunder, so ideally what we'd want to do is take out like each of them one by one. Um... We could try and go for a hit on the bottom one there and then hope that we are okay. I don't think we're going to die to that plant, but we only have one divine out at the moment, which can be a little bit pesky, of course. Uh, but let's see how we go with that DRT. Yeah, we're fine. Oh, our bless is still on. Uh, for some reason, I thought it wasn't. That's fine. That's fine. I get overly scared. Now we've got another burnout dragon. Um, and we could kill all three of them, but it's very risky. You see, these are what, some of the things you've got to decide. Do you want to take out one by one by one, and then there's still the chance that a divine, or sorry, an energy dragon is going to come in and then immediately kill you? That can happen still every single time. There's always the risk. But I think we are okay for now. Um... Maybe we'll take out the bottom one. Oh no, they're all dying. They're all killing themselves. Terrible, terrible time. But, you know, all of these have Power of Thunder for now. I'm going to continue this run later when I'm properly focusing on not dying to the burnouts. And now when we come back, our next Ancient Reset is here. 
And one other thing is that for PBJ, we do have Lilac Corn already hatched because I got to hatching him uh, yesterday. The other dragon that we've already managed to get is Cherry Blossom. And so Cherry Blossom will be hatched in just under half a day as well. The only other dragon that we need to get is Painting. And the thing is, I've already got a Painting dragon, which kind of sucks because now I need to get a duplicate Painting, even though I've already got one, which is really annoying. And the problem with painting is the fact that we need to get that out of the board. And, oh, goodness sake, all of my gold. I don't have enough gold when I don't have VIP active. Ree, why? Why? I hate it. I hate having to manually click. I can't be the only person. I've said it before and I've said it. I will say it again. Genuinely, the VIP is worth it just so that you don't have to manually click the habitats. Genuinely it is. But yeah, I really would like to get painting because again, being able to get peanut butter jelly finally would be great because like I can't do solo events anymore. I can't do cake craze events just purely because I cannot log in during the days. And since I play on PC, it's just not possible anymore. So whenever they've appeared in those events, I haven't been able to get them. So this was finally my shot at PBJ. And it's going to be very, very tight, put it that way, because, I mean, how are we going to get 200 horns for painting out of the ancient market? I don't know. We will have to rely on some luck, probably. It's just in the first week of the event, especially where I would like to be saving up my board event currency, having to spend that on a random dragon that I already have just for a collection just kind of sucks so yeah that's a thing i guess now that we've swapped our team around as well i guess the question really is will i actually change my arena team and i think the answer is probably yes because generally my arena team is just the og team as in erlang shen ikez and neza and both Erlang Shen and Ikas are actually pretty good in the arena because it's basically two debuffs. So like if they bless or leech or shield or anything, then we can just remove it with two dragons. But I'm trying to think, would it just be better to have Emroger in the first slot just to bless or just to big shield up first? And how would that go against, say, an evasion team? I'm not sure. I'll have to think easy about that one because I will be going on an arena streak at some point soon because I've got all of the energy saved up from the primal event. And I'm just picking a good time to do it. I'm picking a good time to get into that, uh, you know, that big streaky phase so that we can actually potentially get an arena dragon. But in time, in time it will happen. Oh, it's just... <sighs> I don't know. I don't know about getting painting out of the market. It's just, it's going to be so close because, again, ancient market, I would love to be getting the premium sigil chests, especially now since I am so desperate for the, um, the what's it called? The acceptance sigils. But painting, 200 horns, and I mean, it's a duplicate, which is annoying, but it will get us PBJ. So I wouldn't say it's worth it, just because PBJ is useless, but at the same time, new dragon. So I can't really resist it, you know what I mean? It just means that when we're going through this board event, for example, whenever I can, I will be trying to take yellow tiles when they come up. Like if I've got the choice between blue and yellow, I will be going for yellow pretty much every time. Uh, but if there's the choice between yellow or purple, I'm still gonna go for purple because although I would love PBJ, just as an added bonus dragon, uh, the important thing is actually getting the main ancient board dragon if we want to get Neil. And I would say since Neil is just infinitely better than PBJ, it's the main, the main goal, really, or the main target. That's who we should really be going for. But anyway, let's claim some of our Dragon Master Pest rewards. Oh, look, it's poo-poo emoji pieces. Woo! Woo! You know, I can't understand people that say they don't like this dragon. I don't think we can be friends if you don't like poo-poo emoji. Like, we must just be on different wavelengths, you know. Maybe living in different universes, something along those lines. But anyway, 
that is the continuation of this week again right now for dragon board i'm just going to be saving up some of my currency and maybe spending more of it on the weekend to try and get the horn all the horns that we need for painting but right now you shouldn't really base your overall progress on the first few days of the event because what really matters is your progress throughout the entire event if you're gonna go like oh i've got 50 pieces of adats is that good like doesn't really matter what your results are after a couple of days what matters is your continued logging in your continued grinding for the whole month because then you'll have a more realistic idea of, you know, how well you're actually doing in the event. But for now, I guess we will continue on with our dungeon run later, possibly get our hands on Asteroid, because I really love that dragon, and it's another one that I never got. So, let's see. Let's see if we can add some more dragons to our collection for now. But I appreciate you being here. Thank you, and enjoy your poo-poo emoji. <laughs> 